Doing everything the way you're supposed to can't always save you. Sometimes the opposite is true. This is the story of Renee Laval, a woman that had to forget everything she knew about black bears in order to save herself from a potentially fatal attack. While black bears may not be as large or aggressive as some other species of bear, they can still cause serious injury or death if they feel threatened or provoked. Not even familiarity with an area can guarantee safety, so it's always better to be aware of your surroundings and not let your guard down. This story takes us to Frederick County in Northern Maryland. It was a normal September day in 2020 when 53-year-old Renee Laval decided to take her two dogs for a walk. Renee's home was located on a three-mile gravel road, a part of Gambrel State Park, a public recreation area located on the ridge of Catoctin Mountain. The state park has popular trails for hiking and mountain biking. Besides the trails, Gambrel State Park also has some astonishing views of the surrounding area. These views can be enjoyed from stone overlooks located on the 1,600-foot summit of High Knob. Gambrel State Park is a cozy little area with beautiful views and spectacular nature. There are some incredible wildlife viewing opportunities, too. There are eagles and vultures, snakes and turtles, raccoons, beavers, and many other mammals. And of course, there are black bears. Renee Laval knew about the black bears in the area when she set out for a walk with her two dogs, Kylie and Bones, but she wasn't worried. It wasn't her first time taking her dogs out in that particular area, and they weren't going to go too far from their home. Even more, Renee was familiar with the usual tactics of deterring a black bear when encountering one. She'd heard the same thing her entire life. If a black bear decides to attack, you have to fight back with everything you have and make yourself bigger, scarier. Even more, she had her two German shepherds with her. The woman had no reason to be afraid. Taking their usual route, the three of them made their way through the park. Everything went smoothly, and soon enough, it was time to head back home. Kylie, the woman's female German shepherd, was leading the way, happy to be out and about and explore the various smells and sounds of nature. But then something caught her attention. Renee Laval was about a hundred feet behind her dog when she realized Kylie had noticed something. All at once, Renee knew something was wrong. Real danger was lurking. Kylie was barking and jumping up, and those weren't signs of happiness. Instead, it looked like the dog was alarmed and perhaps even scared by what she had noticed. And then Renee saw the reason for Kylie's alarm behavior. A black bear emerged from the woods. The bear wasn't necessarily very large, it seemed to be around 5 foot 9 and 200 pounds. Still, seeing a wild animal approaching her didn't leave Renee indifferent. On the contrary, the woman started weighing her options. She knew she couldn't run, not if she wanted to escape unscathed. Looking at the bear, the most powerful thought racing through Renee's mind was quite simple, and very accurate at that. I'm screwed, the woman thought. But the decision whether to act or not wasn't in Renee's hands anymore. Kylie lunged at the bear, trying to fight it. The bear barely minded her. Instead, it swatted at the dog twice. Then it turned its attention to Renee Laval, who was already acting the way she knew she was supposed to. The woman tried to make herself appear bigger. She shouted and moved around, but her plan somehow failed. This black bear was different. Instead of getting afraid of the woman, the animal perceived her as a bigger threat that needed to disappear. It took just a few very short moments for the bear to appear in front of Renee's face. The woman could see everything. The bear's frightening teeth, its threatening claws. Renee hadn't even had the chance to think. The bear was so close to the woman's face, she could have touched its nose. For a second, the animal and human alike stood their ground, carefully observing each other. Then the bear swatted at Renee's chest, leaving a deep wound. It pushed her to the ground and then proceeded to bite her leg, not once, but twice, just above the knee. The pain should have been unbearable, but Renee's levels of adrenaline were simply too high for her to feel anything in that regard. It ultimately proved to be a good thing because the bear's attack was relentless. Grunting and snarling, it tossed the woman in a completely different direction, as if she was a rag doll. Then the bear leapt and opened its massive jaws, biting the left side of Renee's face and head. The sound of Renee's skull cracking under the sheer force of the beast's bite was blood-curdling. 
A new wave of fear and nausea took hold of the woman, but there was no way for her to deter the next attack. The bear snapped its jaws again, biting the right side of Renee's face. There wasn't much time to think about anything, but the woman knew she didn't want to be bitten anymore. She was terrified, helpless, all alone. She was desperate, thinking this would be her end. She didn't want to hear the crunch of her bones again. The mere sound of it was enough to add another layer of terror, if that was even possible. Renee Laval didn't know what to do, so she went against everything she'd heard about black bears. Trying to fend the bear off hadn't worked. The woman got the feeling that it was now or never. The bear was either going to kill her or leave her alone. The 53-year-old home care provider knew she had nothing to lose. Protecting her head with her arms, Renee rolled over on her stomach to the ground, closing her eyes. By then, blood was already pouring all over her face and body. The bear cautiously approached her, grumbling. It sniffed the woman's right ear, and then miraculously, everything went silent. There was no sound. It seemed like the animal had simply left, falling for Renee's deceiving move. But the woman was too scared to move or open her eyes. What if it came back? What if it hadn't left, and instead it was simply waiting for her turn again? After ten long minutes, the woman gathered her courage and strength and opened her eyes. It was true. The angry bear was gone, and her dogs were at her side. Renee slowly reached down her body with her hands and got her phone out of her pocket and called 911. It took first responders only a few minutes to arrive at the scene of the attack. The chief of the local fire department lived only five minutes away from Renee's house, which helped him arrive very quickly. By the time the man got there, Renee was already sitting up, but she had no idea about the extent of her injuries. The man's reaction upon seeing her clued her in, but the woman was just happy to find out her dogs were unharmed. She was taken to Meritus Medical Center in Hagerstown, where doctors assessed her injuries. The woman had a deep gash across her chest where the bear had initially struck her. Her leg was very swollen due to the deep bite marks left by the animal. It needed stitches. The left side of her face, part of her ear, and her scalp also needed stitches. On the right side of her forehead, things looked even worse. All the nerves across Renee's eyebrows were severed, and there were bite marks all over her hairline and scalp. After multiple tests, doctors at Meredith's Hospital decided to have her flown to another, larger hospital. Renee was then airlifted to John Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore, where she underwent deep tissue surgery. Her orbital fracture was fixed, and so were her severed nerves and the many open wounds all over her body. The surgery took four hours. Two years later, in 2022, Renee Laval opened up about her terrifying encounter with the bear. It took her two years to recover and for feeling in parts of her face and scalp to return, but the sensations aren't entirely how they used to be before the attack. Renee now suffers from PTSD after the attack, but she tries to overcome her fear by taking her dogs out on walks. It took months of therapy to get enough nerve to do it, but the woman doesn't want the incident to define her. She carries bear spray on any outing. Renee Laval advises anyone who plans on taking a stroll outdoors to carry some kind of protection and always be alert and aware of their surroundings.